have a foggy memory of age five, meeting my friend out in the street. And the fog was thick in San Mateo. And this donut truck came out of the fog. And we went up and bought donuts for a dime a piece. That was my first memory. Absurdity. I think, you know, it's one thing I always fall back on is absurdity of life in general. So many things in life are absurd and don't make sense. That's how I feel anyways, and uh, I put it into my artwork. More often than not, yeah. There'll be a little, always be a little absurdity. I know it seems bad, but I think in order to stand out from the crowd, you have to brand yourself. Robots and Donuts is my brand. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's a real challenge, you know. I think I've done like over 400 paintings now. And, uh, yeah, I first discovered these funny tin robots uh, back in 1982, I think. I went to the flea market with my art school teacher. And I just, I saw this robot, and it was just hilarious looking. A square head and printed tin. It's called Tin Litho. Um, I'd never seen anything like it before. Cause I never had any robots as a kid. So these are something I discovered after, you know, I was in my 20s. So I bought it and uh, held on to it, but still I didn't really pursue it until the year 2000 or 1999. That's when I got really uh, kind of desperate for ideas and just a creative expression. I had crazy ideas, a lot of them, and they were all dead ends, but you know, when I finally discovered, uh, you know, losing my fear of making an ass of myself, that's when things started to really look good. Every artist should be in a community, and the community should have open studios. And I think it's, otherwise, why do it? You know? Why be an artist? It's too, it's too hard, it's too lonely. I always buy it like $600 worth of donuts, on, you know, at 300 on Saturday, $300 on Sunday. I get the finest donuts I can find. <laughs> It works, you know. People really appreciate it. I can tell by how loud they laugh, or as they're flipping the pages in my portfolios, or how much the little kids scream and run around, and um, just the, you know, they, they tell me, you know, some people really are, give me heartfelt um, thank yous, which is kind of takes me by surprise sometimes. And they're just so so serious about it, <laughs> but I appreciate everything. I made a list for myself, five things, you know. Number one was uh, be unique, and I think number two was uh, has to be within my abilities. Number three was I have to be able to do it for 30 years. Other people have to like it too. They probably, I have to enjoy it or something, I don't know. <laughs> but I made that list back in the, you know, 1999, I think. And, uh, write down your dreams and whatever, your thoughts. And, have plans, have goals. Try to visualize these things. And always keep in mind that art is, uh, makes life worth living. It really does.